To run your favourite Doom game through GZ Doom Engine, simply go over to Google, type in GZ Doom, head over to zdoom.org, find your version and download. Once downloaded, extract the files with programs such as 7-zip. Once extracted, open the folder and locate your GZ Doom EXE. Now install your favourite Doom game. For this instance, we'll be using Doom 2 on Steam. Right click, properties, local files, browse local files. In this folder, open the base folder and locate your doom.wad. From here, simply drag this file over to your GZ Doom EXE. Congratulations, you're now playing Doom through the GZ Doom engine. To set up Doom Launcher, simply head over to Google and type in Doom Launcher. And head over to the Realm 667 website. From here, scroll down and locate the download. Click the download button and save your file. Once downloaded, find your file and extract. Once extracted, open up the folders and locate the Doom Launcher EXE. You'll be prompted with a welcome message, click continue. You will then be prompted with the source port. Click on new and locate your source port that you've just downloaded. In this case, GZ Doom. First, let's give it a name. Then under executable, click browse and locate your GZ Doom EXE. Click save. And then next, from here, it'll ask you to find your iWAD file. In our case, it was in the Steam folder. In my case, it's located somewhere slightly different. Locate the iWAD of your choice. In this case, we'll be using Doom 2 again. From here, you'll be prompted with the Settings tab. Locate GZ Doom. And then select your iWAD, Doom 2. From here, click Save. You can now, from this point, launch Doom through the Doom Launcher. This will be using GZ Doom. Now to add a mod. In this case, we'll be using Brutal Doom. Head over to Google, type in Brutal Doom, and head over to the ModDB website. From here, locate the file and click Download. Once the file is downloaded, simply extract again. Head over to the, the Options tab on Doom Launcher and click Add File. Now navigate to your Brutal Doom folder and open your Brutal Doom .pk3. Under the local tab, you'll have your Brutal Doom .zip. Click on this, select your port, in this case, GZ Doom. Then select your IWAD. In this case, we'll be using Doom 2. Under the additional files, you have your Brutal Doom mod. Click OK. Congratulations, you're now playing Brutal Doom through GZ Doom. To play a custom map within Doom Launcher, simply download a file, locate the iPad file and drag into Doom Launcher. Double click on this file, select the source port of choice, and then pick the iPad that the level was made for, in this case Doom 2. If you wish to add Brutal Doom to the mix or any other mod, simply click Add and locate Brutal Doom Z. Click OK. You are now playing a custom map with Brutal Doom through the Doom Launcher.